Hey, how's it going guys? It's Technical Tim here, and I want to thank everyone so much who's been liking all my videos and subscribing to the channel, and I really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up, or subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, it's been a little bit since I've done a video. I hope you all had um, a good holiday, good whatever you celebrate, Christmas and, and whatnot, and I hope you had a good new year. And I'm going to get back and popping out videos left and right here, so... Um, I plan on doing a lot for UFC 246, and the first one I want to do, it's um, it's a fight that I, I have a bet on Grant Dawson. I, I, I tipped this out like three weeks ago. I think it might have even been longer than that when he was down at minus 160, and I was expecting him to close well over minus 200. I personally cap him in like the minus 350 to 400 range. I think he wins this fight about 75 to 80-ish percent of the time, like somewhere in that field, but... I'm going to kind of go through their numbers and how they match up, and then I just, I'm actually going to, I have a little different setup today. I'm going to go through um, just some clips that, um, some still frames of Grant Dawson and some of the wrestling sequences of, of what he does. But um, essentially, I originally didn't really know what to think of Grant Dawson. I, I, I like when people relentlessly pursue offensive wrestling because you know, you just want output from fighters, whether it's striking or um, wrestling, and he kind of does both, and he, and really, it was kind of the last fight with Trezano that made me realize that he, he might, he might go a long way just because of his style, because a lot of people can't keep up with volume wrestling, and he kind of reminds me of a, kind of a young, a, a younger, earlier in his career, Colby Covington, and the the numbers kind of back that up. Like if you if you really look into the numbers, and I'll go through those right now, and then I'll get to the clip. Hold on, give me a minute to pull that up. Sorry, I thought I had it up, but Dawson. He, he lands 3.76 significant strikes per 15 minutes, and he actually um, only absorbs 2.51, which is good, and I'm sure it's because he gets a lot of top position as well, so it limits his opponent's ability to kind of land. But even though his offensive striking on the feet doesn't look super technical, it kind of reminds me of Covington in a way where he's just spamming so much volume that he can win striking exchanges against more technical strikers. And against Trezano, even though Trezano is landing some effective strikes with his jab and his straight punches, um, if you look at the distance striking, Dawson actually landed more. Um, but it was close, but I think he landed like seven more distance strikes in that fight. But... Um, Along with like the striking, like the bread and butter to his game is his volume wrestling. And and even though he's only had a couple of fights in the UFC, but I think Arosa and Trezano are both, you know, caliber UFC fighters. And I, I actually think Trezano is pretty good. But he um he's averaging 5.23 takedowns per 15 minutes, uh, Dawson, which is incredible. And he is averaging 11 takedown attempts per 15 minutes, which means he shoots a takedown attempt every minute and 20 seconds. So he's just constant, constant volume, and he really just doesn't slow down. So I really like his game because he's constant offense. And um, another thing that I like is the nine takedowns that he's landed, he's passed nine times on the mat too. So he's landed nine takedowns in the UFC, but he's also passed nine times. So that means the referee is going to be less likely to stand it up, and he's actually advancing positions. So our chances of the referee standing them back up and us just getting a finish, um, playing Dawson against Skelly, it, 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 it goes higher. So I like that. I like activity on the mat. And, you know, it's, it, I, I like the, the top game type of style because it makes it easier for the judges to kind of score rounds as well. But, um... Kind of beyond the stats uh, on Dawson, I really like his takedown variety. Um, as a just a wrestler myself, I know um, some people might think that his wrestling's sloppy, but whenever he has like, and you're gonna see in this video, that's kind of I'll kind of go more into his takedown variety in this video in this clip. But he's constantly shooting different types of takedown attempts. It's almost like a Colby or Khabib in a way. I'm not saying he's on their level, but 
I mean, he's on a much higher level than most guys in the UFC as far as his chain wrestling goes, but he chains things together very, very well. And um, I think... <laughs> I, I just think he's going to have to get finished here to lose. And Skelly's not really a KO artist. I think Skelly's going to have to catch him in a sub. And, and I generally, on Grant's tape, I, I like the way he fights hands a lot. And he has a strong base. And I've seen him defend front chokes very well. So I'm not as worried about that. I'm more worried about a back take. Because Skelly is scrappy, especially early. And he can take your back. But... The fact that Dawson fights hands well and he just generally has a strong base makes me think he can probably defend in that in that position or just avoid it altogether because I think he's a much better wrestler in this matchup. Um, and another thing that I like is he always turns his takedowns um, into passing guard opportunities and you'll see that in this video meaning like he'll shoot a takedown and he'll land inside control or mount even he did that on Trezano and then that, uh, going to kind of Chaz Skelly's game it, we all we all know Skelly's game he's kind of a scrappy wrestler he's a scrambler and he'll kind of try to he, he really likes to get the body triangle and put you in a, a situation there and he can either lock up the body triangle and, and, and ride you out the entire round or get a sub and I, I really I don't think he can win rounds here because he, he's just not as good of a wrestler um, unless if he gets the body triangle, which I think is possible. He is a good scrambler and he's scrappy, but I think that's the main way for him to win rounds. And if he's not doing that, I don't think he can win this fight unless if he gets some type of finish, which it's MMA. Shit can happen, but I generally just think it's going to be tough, tough for him. But... A thing that I wanted to point out on Skelly is uh, he, he kind of just, I think he's prone to volume wrestling and kind of pace and pressure. And, and the one fight that that ha happened with was Darren Elkins, and I'll kind of go through that. But Skelly lands 2.02 .02 significant strikes per minute and absorbs 3.35, so he's not really much a striker much of a striker, and whenever he's on top position, he doesn't really land that many strikes. He kind of just holds position, and I, I like that if you're on Dawson and he's on top, he actually does land ground and pound, so that can kind of swing in the mind of the judges whenever you're damaging someone on top. And the thing with Skelly is he only lands 1.71 takedowns per 15 minutes, which isn't bad, but that doesn't compare to Dawson, who's well over five. So just the takedown volume on the numbers is advantage Dawson as well. And it just, also just my wrestling eye, and I'll, I'll kind of point that out. I know stats aren't everything, and I'll point that out in this video. Is I, I just really like Dawson as a net takedown type of guy, meaning he can land a lot of takedowns, and he, it looks like he has good wrestling defense as well. And um, a thing that I noticed with Skelly is even though he has a wrestling background, he only defends takedowns at 33%. So even though he's got a wrestling background, he his takedown defense has generally not been great in the UFC. And um, also, the more you wrestle him, the more takedowns he gives up. So I noticed that almost all of Skelly's opponents have only attempted 0 to 4 takedowns in each fight. So generally, Skelly's only going to be facing 0 to 4 takedowns every time he fights someone. And... The only time he faced someone that really poured it on over that amount was 11 takedown attempts by Darren Elkins. And Darren Elkins landed seven of them and really gassed Skelly out. And I think you're going to get a similar fight with Dawson because Dawson average, average what is it, I think, shooting about 11 to 12, I forgot what I said earlier, but it's around that mark, around 11 takedowns per 15 minutes is what... Skelly's gonna have to face here and so if he faces that and he doesn't defend takedowns well and he kind of tires out I think the fight's just gonna kind of wear on him and um also Elkins landed 48 significant ground strikes in that fight and that's kind of around the same striking um, ground striking volume that Dawson generally lands like he'll hover around that 50 ground strikes per 15 minutes type of thing so I think 
the volume wrestling is going to get to Skelly and he's probably going to get tired and he's susceptible to getting hit to ground strikes. And it wasn't just against Elkins. It also happened against Jason Knight and it even happened versus Jordan Griffin as well. And I also noticed that Dawson is very good at flattening you out whenever he gets your back. He'll put hooks in and Dawson and um, Skelly tends to give up his back as well. So that's another kind of stylistic thing that I see here. So generally... I just think the minute winner here is going to be Dawson with his takedown volume, his uh, his higher pace with the striking, and even though he's not a super technical striker, he's busy and he's constantly throwing strikes. And I just think he'll be the round winner here unless if he gets finished. And I think it's possible that Skelly can maybe get a back take or something, but I just generally don't think it happens at a super high clip, but it could happen. But I just wanted to kind of kind of point that out, but that's my main fear. But let's get to the tape here. So I kind of want to point out what I'm talking about with Dawson, just as an offensive wrestler and some of the subtle things he does in this sequence as a defensive wrestler as well. So if you're looking, this is against Trezano. Okay, so one, he sh so he already shot kind of, he tried to use his right leg as a trip and land a double, see that? And that, that's the thing about Dawson. If he fails a takedown, it doesn't matter. He'll just go for another one. And, and Trezano does the right things in most of these situations. He defends a lot of these takedowns very well. But there's so many attempts. Like I said, Dawson will attempt 11 takedowns per fight. So you have to be t passing all these tests, which Skelly's going to have to pass. And I think gen like eventually these takedowns are going to land. Um, so even though Trezano did well there, look... So now Dawson just went up for a body lock on the failed takedown. So he's just chaining it together. And he turns it into a right underhook. And he tries to trip him. And I know it didn't land, but he's just making Trezano defend. And that's what Dawson does. And so now Trezano actually does a really good job and gets him against the cage. And look what Dawson's doing. He's using his left arm as a way to keep Trezano's hips back so he can't win the pummeling battle. Because if Trezano's um, hips can get into Dawson, he'll have more leverage on the underhooks. See that? See how he's keeping his hips back? It not only does it avoid strikes, it, it avoids the, the position of getting the hips up to Dawson and getting the leverage on the underhooks. Now watch. He keeps doing it, and he's kind of pummeling his own right underhook to get leverage on it. Now watch, okay, so Dawson releases that left hand, and it allows him to get his hips in. So he released it, and like, there's no defense the other way coming back from Trezano in the pummeling battle. He doesn't have his own left hand blocking the hips of Dawson. So Dawson was able to release that left hand and get his own hips in and turn and end up winning the pummeling battle here. Watch. So now he has leverage on the underhooks, which Trezano can never get. And so now, j just all that sequence, we saw a double leg, a trip attempt, a body lock. We saw him defend the pummeling, even though that didn't look much like wrestling defense, it was. And he was able to use it to get his own offensive pummeling going and get Trezano back against the cage. So see, and he'll, I like how he's constantly landing elbows and things, constant offense. He goes for a right trip here. I'm not positive. I don't remember this entire sequence. Okay, so now he's using... He, he snatches with his left arm this single leg. And he's... Pr I'm assuming if he has this... I, I like this position because whenever you're in a single leg like this, you can chain to a lot of different finishes. You can go to a double leg. You can pull him backwards this way. Something... I, I was a single leg guy when I grew up. I would always grab the use this right arm to grab the top right shoulder of Trezano and pull backwards. But I'm guessing Dawson's either going to switch to a double here, I forget what he does, or he'll probably just pull this way and take him down. Okay, so he uses a trip and kind of pulls that way, so he just had a lot of options. So if, if you look at that, that's just like incredible overall chain wrestling. He was able to 
defensively pummel back and get his own offensive pummeling going. And then we get all the way to, sorry that I'm rewinding this, he goes for a trip and he uses that to snatch a single and then he uses his right leg to trip and take him down. And like I said before, when I was kind of profiling Dawson, he lands, he's constantly passing. Like I said, he lands, he's landed nine takedowns in the UFC and has passed nine times. And he's good at landing in side control or mount on his takedown attempts. So then he lands into side control. So that was some legit stuff. So not only did I see offensive wrestling there, I saw chain wrestling and kind of just defensive savviness in the wrestling as well. And I think he kind of rides out position at the end of this first round. And then I'm just going to go a little bit to the second round. And they're kind of striking for a little bit. And see, like, Daw Daw like Dawson could get tagged. I mean, he he's defensively open, but he's kind of very come forward as well. And I think Skelly is going to be, he's going to probably get tired after a while, after, you know, like seven minutes or so, because the pace is crazy. So he goes for, like, a single leg, and he misses. But he then just keeps going forward. That's kind of his whole game. And he can get tagged, but he landed a shot of his own. Okay, and so the, he, he gets the overhook here, and he has a left underhook, and he, he's got a really tight body lock squeeze. That's probably the one of the main things I noticed. Probably the best part of his wrestling game is how strong his body lock is, and a thing that I noticed with Skelly and Elkins when they were really exchanging in the grappling was uh, Skelly wasn't as strong in the body lock position, and Elkins kept winning it against the cage, and I think Dawson is a better pummeler and a stronger pummeler than Elkins, so I really think he's going to have that same advantage over Skelly as well. So he clasps his hands together on the over-under. Look, and look how strong his squeeze is, man. He just takes Trezano right down, and like I said, he's good at passing. He's gotten nine takedowns in the UFC. He's passed nine times, and he's good at landing into dominant positions. And then he ends up finishing Trezano here from Mount. So that's kind of my overall breakdown on Dawson. I know I threw a lot of information at you guys, and sorry, I was kind of like, I researched this fight like a month ago, so I was kind of refreshing myself as I went through this video. But I, I just really like the chain wrestling of Dawson and his constant offense. And, and I think he should be a bigger favorite here because I really don't think he's going to lose all that many minutes in this fight. I think Skelly's going to have to use some of his uh, his kind of a scrambling savviness to try to get Dawson's back and sub him. And, and I just generally like the positional awareness of Dawson in the situations I've seen him to make me think that he can probably defend and stay out of those situations. So I expect Dawson to win this fight. And um, it'll be a fun fight though. I, I like Skelly and he can maybe create a few situations interesting, so it should be good. But I like Dawson to win, and if you guys want any other videos done for UFC 246, comment below. Thank you.